Hello everyone, this is Gretted here from ZeroOneGaming.com and NoobCastGaming.com. It is Wednesday and it is actually kind of a slower news day as far as things I can report on. GamesCon is going on, but there's a lot of trailers and pictures and such and not so much that I can talk about besides the EA press conference, which has been featured on both websites right now. So I'm going to sh go ahead and share what I did find. The other thing to let you know is the game in the background is Beat Hazard. If you are susceptible to any type of seizures, epileptic seizures, etc., please alt-tab the video or something. Uh, you can listen, just don't watch because there is a lot of pain lights. Alright, let's see what I found. The guys over at Team Ninja is determined to have the dead or alive character stay cool and sexy. It was explained by Yosuke Hayashi that even though the character is going to be a little more grittier, that they're trying to retain their sex appeal. As a Japanese developer, we want to keep our roots, he told Eurogamer, but it's more of a mature, sexy element. When you fight, you sweat now. When you get sweaty, there's dirt as well. We want to show a grittier nature so they have the cool characteristics now. When we are looking at what we do with Dead and Alive, we want to make sure it provides something else and something different. Well, Dead or Alive 5 will be coming out next month around September 25th-ish in North America and the 28th in Europe. It's kind of cool that they're doing the whole, oh, if you fight, you get sweaty, and if you sweaty, you could probably get dirty. Of course, the characters, I've talked about this, I know I talked about it with the Nampo Mankind character thing with the bikinis and such, I know that that's the biggest thing that they do is the game mechanics are what they are, but the biggest reason people buy this game is for the oogly. You don't hear this, but I'm doing the little finger quotations that show that sexy is what they're trying to keep and uh, whatever. If I want a fighting game, I'm going to go back and check it. So, like I said at the beginning, there's a lot of pictures about different things that's going on over at GamesCon. Along with a lot of the pictures, one of the games, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance finally has a release date. And it looks like it's coming out on February 21st of 2013. Now the interesting thing about this, this is actually a Thursday when games normally come out in North America on Tuesday. That also means that it's likely that the next day, the 22nd, is when it'll come out in Europe. So it's only a day's difference as far as release dates. The European release date right now is speculation, but the 21st has been confirmed through a Hideo Kojima tweet. As far as that, the game is going to feature Raiden, who has been the main protagonist of several other Metal Gear games, returning in a action spin-off of the actual Metal Gear Solid series. Oh, Raiden, 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 Raiden. We should see what happens with your adventures. I'm sorry, you're not Solid Snake, so I can't talk to this beyond that, because I don't really care what happens to you. And last but not least, Final Fantasy fanboys everywhere can rejoice as Final Fantasy VII has officially re been released by Square Onyx. Last week there was a false start while they're trying to get the last part of the DRM available, but now it's available from the Square Onyx website. Basically what had happened is they put it out too soon for security precautions, but now it is out. It will include 36 in-game accomplishments, cloud saving to play seamlessly across multiple computers, and a character boost feature which will enable players to increase health, magic, and money at a click of a button. Basically, Square Onyx has said that they didn't want to make a Final Fantasy remake until the entry in the franchise matches its quality. They finally have done so, and like I said, fanboys everywhere can rejoice, including this one. So after everything uploads to this YouTube channel to this evening, I know what I'm downloading from Square Onyx. I cannot wait. I was hoping to get it down sooner so I could actually have it playing in the background. Unfortunately, that just didn't happen. Maybe for Friday's video. And that's it for today. I will be back on Friday with more gaming headline news of some variety of shape or form. If you have any comments about my video, whether they be positive or negative, please leave them in the comment section down below. And if you like my video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And before I go, I want to thank you for bearing with me as my allergies are killing me and that's why I sound like poo right now. Anyway, thanks for checking me out and I'll see you next time.